Hello, welcome back to basic programming. I am Shahji. In the last video, we have seen a program in which we have done all the basic calculation in a single program. So here you will enter two numbers, A and B. Uh, will receive those numbers using input statement, and further you can decide whether you want to add. In that case, you have to give one as a choice. This is a menu-driven program. So if you want subtraction, then you give two. If you want multiply those two numbers, give three. And if you want to divide, you can give the choice four. So first you enter the number, then you give choice. Then it will do the calculation. How it was done? In this case, it was done with a sequence of if statements. Uh, if c equal to one, suppose if you are entering c, then go to 90. 90, what it is happening? s equal to a plus b so the addition is done there if c equal to 2 then go to 100 then subtraction is happening if c is 3 if your choice is 3 then go to 110 you are multiplying it and in the same case if it is 4 then it will go to 120 st statement it is going to do the division and after doing one calculation that addition there is no need to repeat the other calculation in that case so you just skip all those calculation and go directly to the one third year statement because the one third year statement is the print statement after doing the calculation you wanted to just print it out this program the same thing you can do with another uh, method that is shown here see instead of this using so many ifs you can e use on go to this is the statement on go to on c go to because c is our variable with the value on c go to 90 100 120 sorry 110 and 120 different values depends upon the value if suppose the value is 1 then go to 90 if the value of c is 100 then sorry if it is 2 then go to 100 if the value of c is 3 then go to 110 if the value of c is 4 then go to 120 so you can have four branches here we have only four options in our menu system too so that no need to go for these checkings here so let me delete these lines one by one so no more ifs here on c go to 90 100 110 120 depends if the value of c is 1 then it will come here if the value of c is 2 then go to 100 it will come here and do the subtraction if it is 3 it will go here 110 it will come here and do this multiplication if it is 120 that is your choice for division it will go for the division after at the end it will simply print the value of s yes, that is the result you are going to get so this program it seems a little short this is a replacement of if statements with the help of on go to on go to statements so you can have multiple branches in a single line and it is very easy to use rather than using the if for this type of menu driven programs let me run this program and see enter a number i'm going to give 20 and i'm going to give another number more 30 so it's asking me whether to add multiplayer division or whatever okay i'm going to give 3 that's for multiplication and I am getting the answer 600 yeah to 20 into 30 that is equal to 600 so I am getting the correct result and let me try one more time 10 and I am giving 90 so I am going to add this time I am going to give 1 the choice so then it will add these two numbers then I am going to get the value 100 ok perfect this program works perfectly so how the program is RAM calculation, this is a remark for the program. So it's a good habit to give the remark for the for every program at the beginning so that the program will be self-explanatory explanatory, or the person who is looking into the program will be able to know what the program is supposed to do. So second statement I have given is CLS, clear the screen. I want to make the output screen clear and so that the user can see that program's displays alone print enter a number if you don't give this line also nothing is going to happen for this program no difference is going to happen but the user will not be able to know what to input what type of value 
or what to do. Simply there will be one question mark and we will not be knowing what is going on. So again another print and we are going to give the input. Input is a statement which is used to get some values, read some values from the user and the red the value is given from by the user will be stored in these variables. First it will save in A and B. And here we have the menu area. We are giving some prints. It's an instruction for the user. Either he can insert 1, 2, 3, 4 as an input. If the usage choice is 1, then it is for addition. That's the meaning given in the menu. 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication and the 4 for division. So input C, it is going to read one value. We are supposed to get only 1 to 5 values. And see the new statement which we have seen in this video is on go to. On C go to. If the value of C is 1, then go to 90th line. What is there in 90th line? It is an addition. These two values A and B which you have given just now that will be added and it will be stored in S. And if C is 2, it will go to 100. What is there? S equal to A minus B. The difference between A and B is stored in S. And if the choice is 3, it will go here and calculate the product of A and B. A into B. And 120 if the value is 4. Value ended for C is 4. It will directly come over here and it will divide A by B. And the value will be there on S. So after each of the operation, it is directly branching to, it is directly going to 130 line statement. Because we don't want to do the other operations again. We will be interested in addition. In that case, we will not be doing the other operations. So only one operation at a time. So we want to skip the rest of the operations. So it will come to 130th line and print S yes and that's the end of this program. It's quite simple. So hope you have enjoyed this video. Try this program out. Please enter this program in your basic interpreter and try it out. If you want, you can have more options in the menu system and you can modify the program uh, by using your own idea you can change the program you can play it so this is a simple video hope you have enjoyed this video i hope there will be no doubt for this program this is so simple and easy in case if you have any doubt regarding this program please feel free to write to me my email id is it underscore teacher one at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video bye have a nice day